Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the camera heart rate variability app to record your reading session and how to send that data over to us at Hope Lab. So the first thing I want to show you all is how to actually download the app from the Google Play Store. Um, what you want to do is you want to first look for the, uh, the Play Store icon from your home screen. That's going to be the multicolored uh, arrow that's going to be like green, red, and yellow that you can see from the front. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that. Now you can see my finger holding it right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. Um, what you want to do after that is you want to then uh, go search for the Camera HRV app. And you can do that by clicking that top bar that says search for apps and games. And I'm just going to type in Camera HRV. Okay, so now once I do that, I'm going to click the search uh, button, which is that blue square at the bottom right. And now I have, I see that the camera heart rate vari the variability and some other apps show up. Um, the one we're looking for is the one with a red heart with a white background that says camera heart rate variability by ASMABV. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to be that second one on the ones that you see. And that opens up the app. And then we can go ahead and download the app. So on my screen, you'll see, you'll see a green button that says open, but on your screen, if you have not already installed the app, you're going to see a button that says install, and you can go ahead and click install to install the app. There will be a small fee associated with that that you do not have to worry about. If you pay for it, and um, just let us know, and we will reimburse you. Um, you just have to email us or contact us. Um, hopelab at austin.utexas.edu is the best way to contact us, and if you do that, we will reimburse you. Um, one quick note of clarification is um, that uh, what you're seeing on my screen might vary a little bit from what you see on your screen because Androids differ from phone to phone. But generally what you should see is should be very similar to what um, that you're seeing right now. Now, uh, once you click the green button and click install, the app should come up on your phone and uh, we can, you can go ahead and get started. So let's go back to the home screen and show you how to record a breathing session. Okay, so uh, now we're going to look for the camera heart rate variability app from our phone. And so I'm just like sliding through my uh, apps to find it. And I found it. It's going to be that same icon, which is the red heart with a white background. It's in my top row in the middle. Um, and I'm going to put my finger over it and you can see it right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And this should open up to the main menu. Now, before we get started, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our settings are correct. So I'm um, to do that, we're just going to click that settings button, which is the second from the bottom. And once I do that, I want to make sure my measurement duration is at, that, is at the correct length. So if you see where it says measurement duration at the top, there's two options, one minute and 30 seconds. We want it to be one minute. So I'm just going to click that uh, white uh, circle next to the one minute. And I know that I selected it because I see the green ticker next to the one minute sign on the left. Okay, so now with that done, I'm going to go back, which I'm going to do by clicking the gray arrow at the bottom left. And that will take me back to my home screen. And so, now, and so now we can go ahead and get started on actually recording a breathing session. To record a breathing session, what you want to do is you want to click the first button in the menu that says Measure HRV. Once you that do, immediately it should, it should uh, turn on your camera and your camera's flash. And after you see the preparing camera pop up, come down, you'll see that the camera actually shows up at the top of your screen. So you see that right now, I have my, uh, you can see my finger right underneath the camera. And what you want to do is you want to take your finger and you want to place it right over the camera. And this will help record your heart rate. Now, once this happens, the next thing I want you to notice is that there's that red uh, circle that's um, slowly building, uh, red uh, circle that's red circle leader, circular breathing bar that shows up at the very bottom of the screen with a countdown timer. This is going to be your countdown timer for your breathing session. And uh, you can just follow this along and uh, sl start slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out uh, for your breathing session. So I'll just demonstrate here. Demonstrate here. Um, so we're just going to breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And you see that the countdown timer actually uh, counted down all the way. And we get a pop-up that says measurement description. This just tells us what our measurement um, has uh, been. And so we're actually going to just store this. Now, I want to continue my breathing session. And so to do this, I'm going to start another uh, measure, I'm going to start another breathing session by clicking measure HRV again. 
Now to make this process a bit faster, what I recommend is that you put your finger underneath the camera before you even click the measure HRV. That way you can jump right into your reading session. So I'm just gonna click on it. My finger is right below the camera already. And after the preparing camera pop-up, I can now start my breathing session immediately. So I can breathe in and breathe out and start uh, recording my session. And I'm just going to keep continuing, continuing to do that until the uh, timer counts out. So I'm going to breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. And just relax and breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. We're just going to keep doing this until the counter or the timer um, timer counts out. Almost said. And there we have it. So we've recorded our breathing session. And so what I'm going to do to finish this off is I'm going to click measurement description. And that will basically store my data and make it available for us to send over to Help Lab. So let's click Store at the bottom right. So click that. And now I'm back on the main menu. And now the next thing I want to show you all is how to actually do uh, a send over the data to us at Help Lab. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to click that last button that says Data Export. And once I click that, I get options for how you would like to export your data. We want to click the email um, or email, and that will basically allow us to send it through email. And now we have a, a various, uh, depending on your phone, you'll have like various options on how you want to share your data. Um, at the top, you'll see Gmail, and you can click either the blue just once or the blue always to share with your Gmail. I am going to click just once. Um, once I do that, I have the email set up. And uh, what I want you all to notice is that uh, the, the uh, form that says two, there's like a cursor that's like blinking over there, and that's where we're going to type in the email for Hope Lab. Just a quick note before this, if you don't have um, Gmail on your phone, we're going to link an accompanying, a, a accompanying video in the description, and you can go ahead and look for it right below. Um, and it's also going to be in our playlist. I recommend a video on how to download and set up your email on Android. Um, back to what we're doing right now. So you, we have that blinking cursor, and we want to click right there where that cursor is blinking, that blue button. And we want to type in Hope Lab at austin.utexas.edu. Um, and I have it popped up, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And now what we want to do is we want to click anywhere else on the screen. I, I'm going to click on Compose Email. Um, that's that's uh, in the middle of the screen right below camera HRV data. And that will basically uh, light up a blue arrow at the top right that allows us to that will allow us to send. So I'm going to go ahead and click that blue arrow at the top right to send it, and then the data is sent over. And that should be everything for how to record and send over your data, record it, record a breathing session, and send over your data. Um, and if you have any other questions, feel free to email us at hopelab at austin.utexasedu. And thank you for listening.